What a perfect silhouette! Alright, got it, you can exhale. You can take a ton of awesome photos without leaving your house. Everyone else has gorgeous photos, I want to brighten up my feed too, but I'll need a really, really awesome picture. My photos look really homemade, but I have an idea. I can make a photography studio at home. I'll need a plain sheet and my closet. And now I have a photo backdrop. Now I just need to strike a pose and I have professional photographs that I got without even leaving my house. The sunshine coming through the window looks beautiful on my wall. Maybe I can recreate that effect for a picture. Put even strips of masking tape onto a lamp. Turn on the lamp and direct it at the backdrop. Now it looks like the sun is shining through the blinds, even though it's cloudy outside. Awesome! What else can we do with this lamp? Take off the masking tape so the light isn't blocked. Free up the room for your photo shoot. Out of my way, couch! Point the lamp at the wall. Put on bodycon clothes and stand against the light so your shadow falls onto the wall. Don't like your shadow? Is it kinda lumpy? Don't worry, you can use saran wrap to smooth everything out. Wrap it around your body. It won't show up on your shadow. The photo's ready. You can relax now. Phew, it's hard to breathe like this. No ideas for a photo? Ooh, Christy's looking at me from my phone. What if I turned into her? I'll zoom in on her face, and I'll put the phone in front of my head. The picture makes it look like I have Christy's face. Christy wants to experiment with her face too. She came up with a shocking idea. I'll take a picture and blow it up, then print it out. Ooh, that was fast. I'll cut out one eye and my lips, then tape them to my face. Whoa, look at that! I look like a Picasso painting. It's like DIY Photoshop and a safe way to boost your lips and eyes without getting plastic surgery. The only downside is tearing off the tape afterwards. I need a new idea for a photo. Whoa, it was hanging right above me. This cute bright orange color inspired me. Let's go hunting in the closet. I need to find every single orange piece of clothing that I have. I'll put on my orange top and pick out a nice blank wall for a backdrop. The painting can lie down for now. Turn on the self timer and throw all your orange clothes in the air. Quick, pose while your clothes are flying. You can try a couple times. Your photos will turn out super colorful. I want a cool photo in one color too. This gray rug would be the perfect match for my pink mug. I just need to change. A pink sweater is perfect. Put the phone on the edge of the table. Put more pink clothes on the floor. It's a horizontal photo shoot. Now turn on the self timer in portrait mode and pose with the pink cup. Perfect. 50 shades of pink. Redhead thought of another illusion. She's so imaginative. Put a mug on the table. Make sure you pick a good setting. Fill your mouth with water. Make yourself look damp, too. Put the mug in the foreground and the model in the background. It looks like Redhead just came out from the mug and she's soaked. Christy wants to drink some Coke, but gravity is working against her. The soda was breaking out of her mouth. What's going on? Did Christy's universe flip upside down? Nope, nothing like that. Christy flipped the world upside down for a photograph. She turned the table over and taped everything to it. Her back hurts after the photo shoot, but at least she got some very cool photos that go against the laws of nature. Redhead is hard at work creating art again. She wants to use her face as a canvas for a beautiful photo. You'll need face paint. Draw a thin white line on your face, from the temple to the chin. Go up to your lips, outline them. 
outline your eye, and trace the line back to the temple. You get a Picasso-style masterpiece, an unbroken line, just like the Instagram filter. This photo would definitely get the most likes at an art exhibition. Christy is discovering her inner painter, too. She's taking a selfie in front of her painting. Oops, she got paint on her. Hold on, she can turn that into a new artwork. Put a thick layer of paint on your palm. Put your palm on your face and leave a print. Not bad. You get a cool photo with very interesting subtext. Let my art speak for me. Looking for inspiration in your closet? Look in the men's section. Your boyfriend, brother, or even dad might have a shirt you can use. Perfect. Grab a towel, too. Put on the men's shirt and wrap a towel around your head. Now you look comfy and cozy. Now get in bed with a bunch of pillows and blankets. Ooh, I forgot my book and my orange juice. Hashtag my sweet morning. Ah, this is so uncomfortable. Good thing I don't have to stay like this all morning. Just a couple minutes for a few nice photos. Now I can relax. My friend posted a cute, cozy photo from home. I can do it better. I'll have a spa photo shoot right at home. Instead of an expensive face mask that I don't have, I'll put pink lotion and glitter on my face. It'll do the trick for my photo shoot. A cup of fresh coffee and a relaxed smile. I look so calm and relaxed in the photo, but acting this relaxed is actually exhausting. Why is Christy ordering a roll of bubble wrap? For her new photo shoot idea, roll it out. Stretch out the bubble wrap and make a small hole in it. Pose, but make it fashion. Now you have a new outfit. The result is an unusual photo shoot that even Lady Gaga would be jealous of. I have another beauty idea. I'll need a mirror on a stand. First, I'll decorate my chest of drawers, maybe with a flower, a small statue, or a tablet. Now look in the mirror and take a picture. I got a super cool aesthetic photo for my Instagram. While I make dinner, Redhead's busy taking pretty photos. What should I cook? Hmm, let me think. Ooh, there's an idea. I can use my mixer as a tripod. I'll just need a lot of tape. Attach a phone to a mixer. Use a few layers of tape to secure it. Now I can start my experiment. Turn on the camera and the mixer. Centrifugal photos. Quick, turn it off before the phone flies away. Phew, my trick worked. Let's see, I got unusual selfies with a blurry background. I'll call this the mixer filter. A photo with books is always a good idea. After all, books are a symbol of wisdom and culture. You just need to find the right angle to show yourself and the book. Been there, done that. Nothing is working. What if I didn't only use one book? I can take a picture of the whole library at once. Put open books on the floor. Now dive headfirst into the world of literature. Not enough magic? Just add some fairy lights and become the hero of your own story. A common trend is a photo shoot right in bed. I'll show the whole world what I do before I've even gotten up in the morning. It's tough. Who knew that a simple photo in bed took so much effort? Want to turn your house into a photography studio? You'll need a soft box, but it's easy to make one all by yourself. Mark a pyramid on thick cardboard. The base of the pyramid is 20 inches, the height is 12 inches, and the side is 5 and a half inches. Cut out four of these pieces. Also, cut out a square with sides that are 5 and a half inches long. Cut a round hole the size of a light bulb base in the middle of the square. Cover all the pieces with slightly crumpled tin foil. Tape the foil on. Connect all the pieces to make a pyramid. Put the square on top. Paint the inner walls black. Put a light bulb inside. 
Attach parchment paper to the outside. It'll diffuse the light. Connect the sheets with clear tape. Your DIY softbox is ready. Turn on the light and take photos just like you're in a real studio. This lighting equipment will make your photos look super professional. Did you like our photography life hacks you can try at home? Then comment below and tell us which one you can't wait to try. Taping on big lips, diving out of a mug, or making a DIY softbox. Plus, smash that subscribe button, like this video, and click on the bell. Don't miss new ideas to brighten up your photos from Wall Motion.